solution is to store the excess energy somewhere, ready to be used when the wind doesn't blow. And that's here, on the edge of Loch Orr, in Argyle and Butte, and the power station at Ben Crook and Mountain. When we've got too much electricity on the grid, what we do, we put water from that lock there, up the hill, to yon side of that dam, right? That's when we've got too much electricity. And when we need a load of electricity, what do we do? We release the water out of that dam, right? Gravity takes it from there, back down to that lock, via the turbines that's underneath those pylons there, generating electricity. As simple as that. Known as a pumped storage hydroelectric power station, there is enough water kept in the reservoir at the top of the mountain to recharge 100,000 electric cars. Let them know you're coming, mate. Every piece of machinery that makes it work is hidden deep below ground. There'd have been a bit of sweat lost digging this hole. No support in it either. Someone was brave. Built in 65, right? Not with a boring machine or anything. 1,300 folks came in, called the Tunnel Tigers, right? And you can still see there's some down there, odd holes where there was drilling and putting dynamite in the holes and blowing it up. So they said, yeah, they blew this up. It took them six years to do it. It's, it's massive. Where the turbines are, those four turbines, about seven storeys high, we're a kilometre into the mountain, and she's wham. The beauty of Kruken is that it can act fast. It takes 30 seconds from the electricity system operator requesting more power until Kruken is at a maximum load of 440 megawatts. It can maintain that for 16 hours, helping make up for the intermittency of wind power. Before we start making electricity, we have to open the tap. So before we open the tap, we have to retract the main inlet valve service seal. So watch this. Now we're going to open the main inlet valve, which is the ball valve. You ready? Watch these arms down here. Right, you can hear that. Just hear that. That's the water rushing past. A lot of water above our heads in, what are we calling it, the pond. I'm just calling it a pond, right? going through this ball valve, then going to a generator, then going down to the lock downstairs. Yeah, and that's turning the turbine. That's us generating electricity for 90,000 ohms. Do you want it closing? Yeah. I'm good on it. All is good. Water is pumped back and forth several times a day. But the lock is so vast that its water level changes imperceptibly. Even the adjacent trout farm is left untroubled. At the peak, the reservoir is topped up by streams and aqueducts for free. In the wet season, the dam could overflow, but luckily, a highly trained expert is on hand. Can you see us? Yeah, what we've got here is like the safety overflow valve, the safety valve. So if we get on a day like today where it's raining like hell, we have the safety relief valve, which releases the excess pressure. This will get rid of, when it's wide open, 14,000 litres a second, right? I'm going to test it once a year. I'm going to test it. We're going to open it about a quarter. So I'm going to clamber up there. I'm going to do a bit of winding. You'll see how I go. You see? Guy Martin is now in charge of the safety precautions at a dam that holds 11 billion litres of water. Are you ready, James? Are we going to go for it? Fantastic. There she goes.
cabe, si cabe, si cabe, si cabe. The water escapes with the same ferocity that it spins the turbines. An awesome force with which to make clean electricity. Yeah, that works the best. 100%. What an amazing place. And it's probably the most impressive power station that we've seen. I know you can't see out today. <laughs> it's a bit misty, even when it's a sunny day. You still can't see out, you know, like a power station without any visual price to pay. But yeah, this would be great if we could have 30 of these in the country. This is up loads. But the problem is the UK doesn't really lend itself to this style of power station. You know, Odin Watts are up the top of a mountain and then we're at the bottom. It doesn't really there aren't many places where we can do it. I think there's one in Wales, there's a couple in Scotland, but it's not really the place to do it. So, yeah, it's not the answer. And as we're learning, there is no one answer to this country's energy problems. What are we gonna do?